is the one man against the world thing we're going with alkaline make mm. alkaline the person who he is right now uh, i know i'm gonna tell you see yes, yes, this life is easy yes. this school you fuck you don't want to have things broken and hungry that can sing situations overcome and we'll live in enough time no fight bring get john was star reality attack triple x alkaline is just one man against the world um, Sizzler Kalonji did say, You can't keep a good man down. You see me? And Barry said, say, Tell me what can you do to stop a man from trying? Yeah, I want to know now. You cannot stop someone who is great and someone who is blessed, someone who is gifted, someone who is talented. And they also understand the assignment and the talent that they have. And they know to go about using the talent. How can you try to stop someone like that? It makes no sense. Dancehall have been fighting this artist for years. You know what I mean? Because of one statement. They just wanted Alkaline to say one thing. And the one thing is, Vibes Cartel influenced me. And Vibes Cartel, I'm a king. Vibes Cartel, I'm a done. Vibes Cartel, I'm a god. And because the man didn't say that, the entire dancehall have been fighting from 2013 up to this point in 2024. They're trying their best to stop this man. And there are people out there in dancehall. You know what? Before we get to all of their explanation, yeah, if you... If you're new to the Tata God TV, please, I'm asking you to like the video right now, drop your comments, and also subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notification bell. Don't be afraid to share these videos, you know what I mean? Because it's good to spread these gospel. Because when people out here who support Alkaline step out and make these statements about the fight, and about the eight and the things that Alkaline, you know, been through over the years in dancehall, a lot of people act as if the fans are naive. And it's evident. You know what I mean? There are people out here who are not afraid to speak their mind about what Alkaline went through and still going through in dancehall with the eight and the fight and all of these things. You dig? And Triple X is one of them who is not afraid to speak his mind. But you know, when you speak your mind and you don't say what these people in the media want you to say, they look at you in a different light. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, you have to really ask the question and say like, I cannot have my own opinion. I cannot say what I want to say. People, at the touch of God, TV with Malina Fali. Hear what Triple X have to say about Alkaline and the fight that this man been through in dancehall with these people. Yes. But Alkaline himself, 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 himself. Alkaline, even though Carter never really fast with him, Alkaline was bullied by the entire industry. Mm -hmm. You understand? And he literally fought against us. Is the one man against the world thing we're going with Alkaline, make mm -hmm. Alkaline the person who he is right now. Yo. The man didn't tell any lie. If it was a lot of other artists, like some of them other money in a dance hall, were pin them brand to Gaza because they want the Gaza fan support, which they're not getting the support. These people who say Gaza are say Vibes Cartel, they're all about Vibes Cartel. They're not all about no popcorn or no Javinci or nobody from the camp. They're all about Vibes Cartel. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, when you check dance hall, dance hall is a very segregated sport. And if Alkaline had said, Vibes Cartel influenced me and that I'm a done and that I'm a, you know, me king or whatsoever, or me look up to Vibes Cartel, then Alkaline would be one of the biggest, if not the biggest artist in dancehall up to today. And remember that the artists, them that pin their brand to Gaza, they all went against Alkaline also. We have Radio Man, we stop play Alkaline, we have, you know, we have the disc jack them, of course, man. We have the promoter them, and I want to book him. We have the producer them, and I want to work with him because him and not say Gaza. You know, much time them black ball alkaline in a dance hall, and alkaline overthrow all of that and overcome all of this hate and this fight, and the man is still standing tall in dance hall. Where these people have to recognize that this man is here, and also his rivals have to know that. You yeah, hear me? He's not a simple artist. It's not easy for us to even try to eliminate this man. This man is powerful in dancehall. This man is on another level. This man have some people in the media where go hard for him. You know what I mean? They support him like non-stop. It's hard to stop Alkaline. Kudos to the Vendetta fans. If it wasn't for you people and the vloggers them in the media, I feel like Alkaline would be more silent in dancehall. But the fans them campaign a lot. The vloggers them campaign a lot. Because, yo, bro, I don't see what Alkaline did to these people for them to be fighting him so hard 
up to this day in dance hall. This man can't get no respect from, you know what I mean, the weaker set of Gaza fans in the media. There are some Gaza fans that I know in real life who literally give the respect to Alkaline. And then the mass don't give any respect because the man are a teacher. This is crazy. This is weird. This is totally madness in dance hall. So I guess every artist have to look up to Vibes Cartel. That era is past and gone. Alkaline was the last artist that they wanted to pin their his brand to Gaza. And Alkaline didn't. And because Alkaline didn't pin his brand to the Gaza, the other artists them who came out after Alkaline, they make sure they walk a different path. They also didn't pin their brand to Gaza. And it's evident in dance hall, you don't see none of them skinny and them valiant and all of the youth, them were bossa, you know what I mean? And you know, see Joshi, them, I, there's a lot of artists, you know, you're the man, you must say, Gaza, Gaza, every man, forward with them, one camp, first nation, second nation, third nation, they have Ratty, they have Syndicate, they have this, they have that, the man, they have the diplomat, they have all kind of thing out here in a dance hall nowadays, every youth is trying to build their own brand. And that's very smart of these younger artists because if you want to stand tall in dance hall and you want to be someone, you have to create your own brand and then your brand is always going to be on top. Your brand is going to stand out always. People are going to always remember, say, I'm a valiant a diplomat. You know what I mean? Like all kinds of vendetta and vendetta is like a stain, a guinea stain on a white t-shirt. No matter how much bleach you put on it, it can't move. It's already stained. You cannot remove vendetta. You cannot remove alkaline. He's only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and better and better and better and better and create more its songs and his catalog is going to be a very big one. You know what I mean? It's going to be an like it's gonna be on another level when it comes to its songs from alkaline remember that alkaline is young right now in dance hall. like he's young it's not like alkaline is in his 50s or even 40s that man is nowhere near 40 at the moment people but alkaline is still reigning and he has achieved so much and he has done so much in dance hall. this man even create some producers in dance hall where people are out here benefiting from the music who call themselves producers because of Alkaline. Alkaline did that. People are saying he never bust no artist, but trust me, he bust some producer and most of the time, the producers are better than the artists if you ask me, because we need the producers to produce the songs them and to bring the artists them forward. So it's a good look. The Vendetta boss has been dominant for years and this man will continue to be dominant, I'm sure who this man is because the man have been showing it to dance hall but because of the ego the jealousy the hate the selfishness a lot of people are afraid to say this man is a great man and we should give him his respect but yeah you hear me the vendetta fans are always going to be campaigning that the vloggers are always going to be campaigning that so guess what the news is spreading across the media People over TikTok, people over Instagram, people over Facebook, people over YouTube. Name all of these platforms. They're knowing about Alkaline. If not through his music, through his fans, or through his vloggers, them. So the Vendetta Boss will remain relevant and always be in dance and always be on top. Because he have vloggers who campaign his music and his doings. And he have fans who stand tall for him and support him. <laughs> Yo, Jano Star, you know, so the channel I want some fans like Alkaline fans. People. People. Do the right thing and subscribe and be a fan of the channel. I thought I got a molly now folly. Also, like up the video, them and drop the comment, them zine. Click the share button, people. You know, we got to work already now folly. First, them a chatter, them a chatter. Me got the one me did now, molly. Me got thoughts, muddy.